So now in problem two, this question involves the design of a class that will be used to produce practice problems. The following study practice interface represents practice problems that can be used to study some subject. So because I'm going to have to implement some type of interface here, I'm going to need to make sure that I write a get problem method that returns a string. And I'm going to need to write a next problem method that is void. In other words, just changes the function. This is some type of mutator or modifier. So when I create an object, mult practice 7, 3, this 7 and this 3 are important for me to keep track of. I'm going to have a first number and a second number so that whenever I call on this get problem method, it's going to say that whatever my first number is times the second number. So notice it's seven times three, seven times four, seven times five. And I notice that whenever this get problem is done, it's going to give me the first integer times the second integer, but this next problem is going to give me the next problem. It's going to update the state. And looking at it, it looks like this three becomes a four and the four becomes a five. So it looks like this is being plus plus. It looks like it's being incremented. So this is giving me an idea of how I'm going to have to write this class. Keep in mind that writing a class is one of the main ideas that the AP is testing. So I'm giving an object with the first number 4 and the second number 12. So the first thing I do is I go to next problem. Remember next problem is going to increment that 12. That 12 is now a 13. And that's why a 13 shows up here. Then if I tell it to get that problem again, that 13 is going to show up again. But then I do next problem, which plus pluses, so now it's a 14. And then I do next problem, which plus pluses, makes it a 15. Notice that I never asked it to get the problem, so I never see the 4 times 14 problem over here. All I see is when I call on get problem after I've done this twice, after I plus plus twice, and so now I've got a 15, I see the 4 times 15. And then I call on next problem one last time, I get the problem one last time, and I've incremented that 15 to a 16. So this gives me the idea of where I want to go here. So I have to write the class. Keep in mind that I'm going to have to keep track of whatever the first number is, I'm going to have to keep in mind that I'm going to have to keep track of whatever the first number is and whatever the second number is. So that's what I'm going to have to do. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say public class, uh, and this is multipractice, implements study practice. Remember that when I'm trying to use an interface here, I want to implement. So now I need to make sure that I have my first number and my second number. These are the values that are going to be kept track of when I'm printing a problem or when I'm incrementing to the next problem. So I'm going to have a private int. I'm going to call this first and second. And then I'm going to have my constructor. So public uh, multi practice. And remember that my multi practice constructor had two parameters. So I'm going to call this num1 and num2. And the whole idea behind this constructor is that it's going to populate first and second with whatever values I have here in num1 and num2. So I'm going to say that first is going to get num1 and second is going to get num2. So that's my constructor. Now the other thing I have to remember is because this is an interface, I need to make sure that I implement get problem and next problem. I need to write the code for that. So first thing I'm going to do is write the, pro, the code for get problem. So public string get problem. 
And keep in mind, because it's returning a string, I need to make sure that I'm returning a string. So I'm going to concatenate my first number plus the string times plus whatever my second number is. And that's the extent of get problem. All of it's doing is printing is returning a string. Keep in mind, don't use system.out.println here. You won't get the full credit for it. It's a method that returns a string. You need to make sure that you return a string. The last thing that I need to do is I need to take care of this next problem. In other words, I need to figure out what the next problem is. And keep in mind, the next problem is going to increment whatever second is. So I'm going to have public. This is a void. And I'm going to call this next problem. And the whole idea here is I'm going to take whatever second is, and I'm going to plus plus it. And that's all it is. So this is going to be second plus plus. So that's problem two. Looking at this, I would say that you're looking at a point for this method header and a point for its contents, a point for this method header and a point for its contents, of course, needing return here, not system out out print line. Uh, a point for the constructor, a point for making sure that you're passing it the two parameters, and a point for assigning the parameters correctly probably looking at a point for declaring your private instance variables, and a point for your class constructor, which includes this implementing the interface. That's very important.